Down to their last out. Two to one Red Sox in the ninth. Sheffield at first. First pitch to Santos. Fastball driven in the air. Pretty deep to left field. Back goes Bay. It's got a chance. And it is off the top of the wall and in play. Around third Sheffield. Stop sign. So Sheffield puts on the brakes. Then the throw gets away. But it's backed up by Papelbon who flips to Veritek, and the Mets are going to argue that that ball hit above the yellow line atop the green monster. I'm to the naked tell eye, you, it looked like it might well have. You are right on the mark. I believe that to be a home run. It is above the line. It hit off the padding. It should be a home run, and the umpires are going to have to get this one right. But with the naked eye, that was a two-run home run. Well, they have the benefit of video replay permissible so they're talking it over right now Joe West is asking the third base not sure if it was the third base or the second base umpire who went out to make the call should have been the second base umpire well that would be Chad Fairchild and I believe he's asking Fairchild if he's sure about what he saw and Gary Sheffield when that ball came back in play looked like he wanted to come around third and I think properly, even though the throw did get away from Veritek, the third base coach, Razor Shines, put up the stop sign. Sheffield slammed on the brakes. We're looking at the replay now. Home I think run. that's a home run. Home run. Not now, even a doubt. Now, they haven't called it yet. They haven't looked at the replay. They've got to look at the replay because there's a little bit of a ledge or a curb above the yellow line here which separates the top of the green monster from those monster seats. And if they are going to go look at it, and I'm telling you, from the replay we saw, that's a home run for Santos. Conclusive. And all everyone can do now is wait. We're getting a look at another replay. It was a high fastball. Santos screamed when he made contact. He knew he got it. I'm telling you, it's a home run. Now, it's not official yet. Santos was screaming, pumping his fist. He rounded first base. Then he realized, whoa, the ball's still in play. He pulled into second, stopped there, and fans atop the green monster are actually pointing to where that ball hit. Either they're doing that or they're just pounding on the top of the monster. But clearly from what we saw, that ball was over the line and should be a home run. Unbelievable that Omer Santos is the guy who caught up to that fastball thrown by Papelbon. He is not used to somebody catching up with that four seamer and I think it's going to be conclusive. It is so obvious and you know what that was a young Mets fan kid out there with a Mets cap that was pounding saying it hit above the wall. Well again it's not at least to our eyes so much that it hit the top of the wall above the line as it did hit that little ledge beyond right. it. They hit off that padded little area. Mm -hmm. That's what separates the monster seats from the green monster itself. I don't that think it's going to take Joe West very long. I really do not. Well, um, I don't see how it's possible for them to see anything other than what we've seen. SNY delivered a perfect replay, a tight shot of where the ball hit. Sheffield thought it was a home run and came around third and practically ran into Razor Shines. Yeah, you're not supposed to be able to use your coach to stop you either. <laughs> you're not. Well, maybe they won't look at that. Yeah. Besides, they can't review that on <laughs> video replay. All they're allowed to do is determine if a home run was, in fact, a home run or not. Wait until this crowd gets this home run call from Joe West. They're going to go bonkers. Here come the umpires. And I think we can probably just lay back and let the fans react. And there it is, home run. Now Omer Santos can take the trot around the bases that he was making or waiting to make for five minutes. Razor Shines gives him a big slap of the hands. Santos and Sheffield hug at home plate. Better late than never. Most of the Mets dugout has come out over the top step. And Omir Santos has delivered a two-run ninth inning home run to give the Mets a 3-2 to two lead. They are pounding Santos as he tries to get into the Mets dugout. And now Terry Francona wants the umpires for a meeting about what I'm not sure. Well I don't know what in the world he can possibly argue. The video is a part of Major League Baseball now and they did everything right. They converged. They talked about it. Joe West asked the second base umpire Chad Fairchild what he expected. And when he said this is the call you could 
actually see the wording from the crew chief Joe West who said are you sure and then they went to see the video and there was no doubt that that replay was conclusive.